Hi, I'm Chris Lawrence and I'm a professional rugby league player for the West Tigers. I've played over 220 first grade games over the past 13 seasons and I'm also the director of One More Bean alongside Leon Keir. Um, the first time I knew I, all I wanted to do was play um, rugby league uh, for a living and for a profession. I would have been in um, primary school, don't know um, what age it was, but I, I loved footy from when I started playing footy, always loved footy, but I got to meet um, Bradley Clyde. I, don't, I can't remember where it was, but Got a photo with him, um, got his signature, he was not a, nice enough to have a little chat with me and I just remember after that point I'm like, I want to be him, I, I want to be a first grade player, like I love footy and I just looked up to them so much, I just thought that's what I want to do uh, and I was probably from that moment on I knew all I want to do was be a footy player. Yeah, so when I, when I was in high school I was doing a, a bit of extra training outside of all the um, stuff with footy I was doing, um, obviously I just wanted to be a first grade footy player. Uh, I thought, you know, that the harder I work and the more I could work at my game, the better chance I, I, I would get to do that. And I um, used to do athletics, so I used to, you know, do extra sprint sessions where, where I could. Um, There's a pretty hectic schedule with, you know, trying to do, um, you know, your club footy, your, you know, your rep footy with Wes and, and school footy. But um, because I, you know, had a love for athletics, I used to love doing sprint training as well. And I used to, with a couple of boys coming through, you know, the SG ball uh, system at Wes, um, you know, we used to look at footy players who we, who, who we liked and I was playing centres at the time so I used to look up to uh, Mark Gasnier, so look at his game, him and Matt Cooper, what they were doing in their game and you know, whether it's the footwork or the flick pass or whatever they were doing and then at the end of every session um, at SG Ball, uh, me and a few of the boys, we would go and do little extras and it was just footwork and we'd just try and uh, emulate uh, you know, Mark Gasnier or Matt Cooper, whatever they were doing, you know, and we just pick up little things from different people in their game and just practice them and practice them after uh, after every session and um, I, I definitely think that paid off you know going into your games as genius junior footy um, and, and just constantly finding bits of you know people you looked up to in your position or, or other positions and what they were doing in their game and just practicing it um, you know uh, at training all the time. Yeah, so I suppose the first time I, I really thought that you know the NRL was a real possibility was um, when I finished um, SG Ball uh, in year 12, uh, the under 18s comp only went uh, until about May from memory and then there was about five from that team um, got to go on to the under 20s and train with the under 20s squad and I remember training one afternoon and then the, the reserve grade coach came over to me and said oh um, you're not on the side this week for Jersey Fleet and I said oh no just training you know they're doing quite well and he said leave it with me uh, and at the time the, the reserve grade side probably weren't doing so well I don't think they had won a game. Uh, he came back to me and goes, um, well, you're playing reserve grade this week. So it was only really then I started thinking, oh, well, I'm only really one step off um, first grade. Like, you know, this can, can be a reality. I'm only in high school. So I um, got my opportunity to play um, reserve grade and started off the bench. And, um, yeah, as I said, West, I don't think, had won a game all year and we're playing Souths at ANZ Stadium. And um, I think we're up by six points. And with about 20 minutes or 15 minutes to go and uh, I got the call off the bench to, to go on. Uh, I can't remember what position I went on but I'm um, very nervous and excited and my first um, carry um, ran as hard as I could and just got picked up and smashed by one of the big front rowers and got up and actually played the ball backwards. Um, and gave the ball to the opposition side, as a penalty against us, gave the ball to the opposition side, south, they scored the next set, end up winning the game by a point. So, and I'm getting booed off by all the, the West fans in my first game, so that was a bit of a reality check, but uh, it was definitely the first time I thought, well, you know, if, if I continue to work hard um, and be disciplined, you know, I, I might get my opportunity uh, sooner than I thought. Uh, so the first time I found out um, I was going to play first grade, it was, um, we were training with the first grade squad, there was about two or three guys um, from the SG ball side, um, from memory, I think it was in the school holidays, and, and they brought Tim Sheens used to bring a lot of young guys down to just train with the squad just to get a bit of, a bit of experience and he, he chose two young guys to, to go travel with um, the team to go up to Brisbane um, just to get a bit of experience on, on how to prepare for a game and, and go travel with the side and um, I think it was a couple of days out before the game we're just training, we're, we're just there to train with them and um, get a bit of experience and then um, uh, to, to just towards the back end of the session um, Paul Fedawira, um does a hammy and goes down and um, obviously the, all the boys concerned rush over to him and you know he hobbles off and obviously knowing he's, he's gone and then 
Um, Tim Sheens just walks up to me and goes, looks like you're in, kid. And it was sort of as simple as that. I sort of was, was going to make my um, first grade debut. It was um, a bit surreal at the time and happened all of a sudden. Um, I remember the club because I wasn't 18 and uh, I didn't have an NRL contract. So because they wanted to try and play me that weekend in a couple of days, I needed to sign an NRL contract. And I wasn't 18, so they had to quickly ring my dad. He had to leave work, come back to the club, and I had to quickly sign a contract so they could register one so I could play on the weekend. Uh, but yeah, it was uh, it was such a surreal time. I think I'll probably look back at it and I'm probably glad it happened that way yeah, because you know, I just it was thrown in the deep end. I didn't have too much time to, to think about or, or to worry or, or get nervous. It, it just happened all of a sudden.